my company, Ovum, we are a research analyst firm. And so part of our role, uh, especially on IT services, which is the team that I'm a part of, is to identify potential emerging markets for outsourcing. And so my boss, Peter Ryan, he actually was able to connect with the head of TTIFC as well as uh, some of the sourcing advisors that they've been using. Um, and you know, we jumped on a call just to see if there was any potential there, um, if any synergy or any research prospects. And you know, we had the call and we thought, you know, this is something that we need to at least come down and see for ourselves, see what the potential is, see, you know, which of our clients might be able to utilize Trinidad as a potential hub. What we've seen so far is, you know, it if you want low low value, higher volume um, services, probably not the place for it. But if you want to look at, you know, the higher value, lower volume work, yeah, I think there are some clients that we could talk to you about that. When we talk about how Trinidad is, you know, potentially differentiated, I think again you need to put that in a broader context. So from the research that we've done, whether it's surveys or on the ground site visits, what we're seeing is increasingly countries, whether it's in Latin America or Asia Pacific, we're seeing that there is quite a bit of cost pressure, um, whether that's due to saturation, inflation, government policies, et cetera. And so increasingly, these countries need to find a way to differentiate themselves. So looking at Trinidad just from a broad stroke view, what I see is, first of all, the availability of labor, particularly at the higher value uh, BPO sectors, whether that's for you know, financial services, um, potentially moving into you know, IT services somewhere down the road, and then also something that can't be understated is the amount of government support that we're seeing for the outsourcing sector. And I think that's something that really needs to um, be called out just because there are the incentives and there is the push for building up that infrastructure and luring you know, new business here. I can't say enough how proactive uh, everyone has been, how just you know from leading up to this trip to the visit itself, you know, it's very common for these kind of site visits and these kind of country visits to be overloaded with content and information and all these different meetings and, you know, not necessarily being ha having the opportunity to really digest information and see the relevant uh, clients or case studies, et cetera. So something that I have to say I was particularly impressed with was just how relevant the content was. I had a number of questions, you know, coming into this, coming to the trip, and they were all answered pretty well. And, you know, being able to have that, those candid conversations, um, whether it was with TTIFC or other businesses. Also looking at, again, which I mentioned before, the percentage of ACCA uh, graduates and potential employees, I mean, really there is such an untapped labor pool here. And in terms of scalability from that perspective, uh, you know, of course, there will be needs for training and coordination with the, at the university level. But I think just from the kickoff, there, there's a really great uh, labor pool to tap into.